Not too long ago, these Congolese fighters were battling the army. Now they call themselves Wazalendo, a Swahili word for patriots. Several armed groups have put aside their differences to help government forces in their goal to defeat what they see as a common enemy. So thousands of fighters have been deployed to boost the number of soldiers on the front lines. Here they sing songs critical of Rwanda's president Paul Kagame, who they accuse of arming M23 rebels. Karen says she's not afraid to die. I'm a soldier. I've seen my relatives suffering. They are in camps for the displaced. My home is Kumbuba. We had to leave for our farms. That's why I decided to come here. But some commanders have been accused of committing human rights abuses and are facing sanctions. Kigali also says the Wazalendo is working alongside a group called the Democratic Forces for the Liberation of Rwanda, or FDLR, that is said to have been involved in the genocide in Rwanda in 1994. FDLR are not Wazalendo. They are based in DRC, but they are Rwandan. We host them because they cannot go back to Rwanda. They should be Rwanda's problem, not ours. The Wazalendo's base is on hills that overlook Goma and Rwanda. That's Rwanda across the border. The commanders here say their role is to make sure that Goma is protected. They say that they're trying to make sure that M23 fighters do not advance into the city. They have new weapons and renewed vigor. I ask them what will happen when the conflict ends. When this is over, we hope that the government will create a special defense unit which can be called in times of security trouble. We can deploy anywhere within the country. But for now, they say their focus is pushing back M23 beyond Congolese borders or die trying. Catherine Soy, Niragongo, Democratic Republic of Congo. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.